Hi, I'm John Rogers. Uh, welcome to my Sagetsu 2020 Artscapes demonstration. And thanks to the Artscapes committee for inviting me. We're in the Marin Headlands, just across the Golden Gate Bridge from San Francisco, where I've been working on a series of what I'm calling momentary Ikebana installations in the ruins of the old gun batteries built to defend the coast experimenting with adding different visual context to the relationship of materials and container that we work with in Sugetsu. I'd like to share these installations with you and some of the process I went through in their construction. The first two arrangements I did here were this piece of mesquite paired with a vessel from Berkeley artist Ariel Clute and this bit of jasmine vine in a container by Lily Rachels. Right away, I liked how the crumbling military architecture worked with the simple organic forms of the materials and the handmade containers. Looking at these rusted steel plates as found design, they're kind of stunning. And I used one as the background for an arrangement of dried kelp, fennel flowers, and a little clump of white branches I found nearby. In a three-legged container from Montana artist Candace Meth. This arrangement of a dried sunflower and some dry grasses in wood-fired unglazed clay by the New York artist Tim Rowan seemed strangely at home in the moss, twigs, dirt, and concrete. Site-specific work using bamboo has a rich history in Sugetsu. At Battery Mendel at Point Benita, I was struck by the crumbling green walls and geometric alcoves. And for my first installation here, I cut 50 small pieces of bamboo to span this long crack. This is a no container arrangement using a piece of eucalyptus bark, one of my favorite materials, and some naked lady lilies, or Amaryllis belladonna, that grow wild all over the Bay Area in August. This installation uses purple thistle flowers in a two-part container that can be configured in a number of ways. I think for me, going to a natural environment like the headlands and making arrangements from what I see there is the essence of Ikebana tuning our perception to focus on the forms of even the simplest natural materials, then adding our two cents, so to speak, by how we arrange them. Battery Mendel has a number of corroded black metal doors that I thought would make a good setting for a few of the pink lilies in a traditional hanging container. By the end of our summers of no rain, Everything is pretty dried out on the Northern California coast, and I found these dried fennel stems and flowers laying on the ground. The container is by the Berkeley artist Robert Brady. Finally, I made this arrangement. Again, using fennel and thistles, abundant, simple materials, and a bamboo container I designed. This time, siting it out in the open, on what I assume was the base of a gun turret. The more I worked on these installations, the more I felt the possibilities of leaving the familiar, more pristine settings where we usually present our Ikebana. Still, I found myself adhering to the principles that originally attracted me to Sugetsu. Not following aesthetic formulas, but arranging materials in a way that is true to oneself. Simplicity, the integrity of natural materials, good design, and the relationship with other art forms, like ceramic art and sculpture. So that's all from the Marin Headlands. Thanks for watching. I hope I've given you some ideas to explore in your own work. And I hope to see you back at the Hall of Flowers in Golden Gate Park in two years for Sugetsu Artscapes 2022.
Hi everyone, my name is Eckhart Choke, and today I'd like to show you how to create um, a fun arrangement using Mangalingo sticks. Um, it comes in a bundle like this, and um, you can find this at any uh, craft store or floral supply store, and they're really inexpensive, about $12 to $15, I think. But first I'd like to show you um, what I did with that, and um, I made, um, I created this um, um, ahead of time, and I made this um, uh, bouquet of circles um, or loops um, using the metal loose sticks. Um, it's really easy to do, and um, I actually did um, three funnels. And I uh, just love the, uh, the look of this, and also um, just the, uh, the movement and um, how airy it is. It's, just, it's, it's a fun um, um, design element, I think. Um, but first I'd like to show you how to do it, and it's really easy. Get um, one of the stick. And um, all you do is to make a loop out of it. And um, simple loops. And um, you can adjust the, uh, the, the size of the loops. And you can adjust the, the placement of the loops up and down. It's really simple. Something like this. So, um, and today, uh, materials, um, we're going to use um, tropical flowers, and I found this um, beautiful um, green and um, red um, um, anthurium. They're really large, probably Hawaiian. Um, also, I used um, uh, uh, the um, cedium orchids, beautiful, that will complement the, uh, the container. Um, the container it's one of my favorites. Um, I love this, and I found this at um, an estate sale um, a year ago. It's really beautiful um, container. So let's um, start them arranging. So first, we'll um, put one of this um, mandolino um, bouquet in the container. And we can start um, with two of this and see how we like it. And that's the reason why I make um, three. I think we can put one more and if we don't like it, we can take it out. I think that's really nice. We can put this one that we make together. So there it is, um, a bouquet 
arrangement with um, um, mandolin stick and uh, tropical flowers. Thank you for joining me today and um, stay safe everyone.